It's Katarina with Meat Field Living, and today I was out here cleaning my kitchen. I had to run a, a few errands and got my coffee, uh, just an Americano with some sugar-free caramel syrup, syrup and heavy whipping cream. Nothing fancy. I don't get that very often, uh, but when you know when I'm out and really busy, I'll grab one of those. But anyways, that's me in the hair there. So I was cleaning my kitchen, um, as is evident by my disassembled stove back here. Um, I do a lot of frying, and it splatters everywhere, and, and just, yeah, it gets really bad. But I thought that it would be a really good time for me to make some more stevia drops. And um, I use stevia in my coffee and also if I'm going to sweeten anything up. Now, <clears throat> stevia is one of the things that doesn't seem to trigger any kind of major response in me. I don't start craving sweets or anything like that. Some of the other artificial sweeteners do trigger that in me. And of course, I have a sugar addiction as it is that I'm still trying to beat. I kind of fell off the wagon over Christmas and I just wanted to, you know, just kind of set myself up for success here in the future. Now, normally I will buy stevia drops like this. Hopefully my camera is going to uh, focus. This is Sweet Leaf. They are very clean. It's just stevia leaf extract and uh, I believe it's uh, purified water, but it also says natural flavors. So I don't know exactly what the natural flavors are. I do know that I use these quite a bit and I don't have any issues with them. But I also was a prolific gardener and I will insert some of my garden videos from Texas prior to moving here to Colorado. And of course, if you know my story, you know that I was a whole food plant-based vegan. We grew a lot of our own vegetables and herbs and things like that there in um, our backyard. And one of the things that I grew was stevia. Uh, I've used stevia even before I became a carnivore. I just um, had certain family members that liked to use stevia instead of regular sugar. And believe it or not, I would even grind it up. Yeah, it was green, but you know, it worked really good. Um, <clears throat> so I had a really big batch of stevia that I had done in Texas prior to moving here and I dehydrated it. I really wish I had a, a freeze dryer, but those things are very expensive. Um, so I dehydrated it so that it would travel and come with me here to Colorado. And then I have one of those vacuum sealers that actually you put it on top of here and it sucks all the air out. So it was preserved uh, pretty, pretty good. And like I said, I'll put some video of um, my stuff that I was growing uh, in Texas here. But in any case, I wanted to make my own stevia drops, and uh, it's really simple. The cheapest vodka you can find, stevia, if you, the mine's dehydrated, you can freeze dry it if you have a freeze dryer. You can even do it with fresh stevia. It's just, um, I knew it wasn't going to keep. I also um, got these vials. I get them from Amazon. I reuse them, wash them out. So these are just dropper bottles and these I believe are four ounces. You can get small ones as well, but I prefer this size. They come in blue, green. I like the amber bottles. And so I got a few of those. Anyways, I, I think this is a pint. I don't know. Um, I usually use about this size of jar. I like the wide mouth because it's easier for me to get the stevia in. So what I'm making essentially is like a tincture, but I'm actually going to warm or cook gently the alcohol off of the stevia. So then it's just the extract, which is a little bit different if you're going to do um, a tincture. Also, um, no more than 36 hours. I will um, put this in the alcohol. I'm going to shake it up every time I come out in the kitchen and I'm not going to let it sit in the, in the alcohol for more than 36 hours. And then I'm going to come back. It's going to take two days to do this video, but that way I can make it even just a little bit sweeter. And it's just so easy. So I'm just going to take these leaves and I'm just going to fill this jar about uh, three quarters of the way full with the stevia leaves. I don't know, hopefully you can see. And um, then I'm going to add the alcohol on the top of it. 
and I'm going to make a big mess while I'm doing it. I do this pretty, well, so I gave away all of my last little jars of the stevia extract, so I needed to make some more. Anyways, and these guys, I have no complaint with these. They come in all different flavors. Um, I get the pumpkin spice. I've got the peppermint. I love all of them, but they're about $10 a bottle, and these are only two fluid ounces. And again, I don't use a whole lot of stevia, but you know, $10 for that little thing when I can make it myself and I know exactly what's going into it. Since you never really know what the natural flavors are that goes into stuff, I just like to do this. And again, I can't really grow stuff and eat it like I used to, but I can still do something like this, which gives me the, you know, the what I like to be able to still grow. Because I was a huge gardener and it kind of saddens me to to not be able to. So I usually do this very loosely, about three quarters of the way full. I mean, it's not, an, it doesn't have to be an exact science, but that's probably about three quarters of the way full. And then this right here, I'm gonna actually vacuum seal it back tight so it stays. And then this, I had my daughter pick up the vodka for me because I had the grandbabies with me and I couldn't stop in the alcohol store. So she got me this behemoth of a bottle, but it's fine because you know what? I don't drink, I don't drink anymore. I used to drink a lot uh, back in my army days, but I don't drink anymore. And I'm just gonna fill this to about this line right here. Um, really pretty nice, easy. This is the easiest recipe. The secret though, if you wanna call it a secret, is you don't let it sit in this alcohol for more than 36 hours, like I said. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back, we're gonna strain it, and we're gonna go ahead and gently warm it to warm off the alcohol to make it just the extract. And then I keep mine in the refrigerator, but I'll show you all that. So I just, I just um, filled it to that line and then seal it. This is an old canning lid that, you know, I save and, and recycle. And then I'm just gonna shake it up really good. And again, what I'm gonna do every time I come out in the kitchen, which will be quite a lot between now and tomorrow, I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm just gonna shake it. It's not gonna sit for months, weeks, or whatever, like some tixtures and stuff that you make. And again, I'm just, you don't want it to go for too long because stevia will start to get bitter. And I think uh, I go probably a little less than 36 hours, but that's about, that's probably the max. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't go any more than that. So I will just let this sit here. And then I will come back tomorrow. I'll film the second part of this. We're going to strain it. We're going to go ahead and cook off the alcohol without uh, bittering up the stevia and then put it in the jars. And I'll show you that process when we get to it. Good morning. Uh, good morning, good morning. It's been 36 hours and good morning. And um, it's time to finish these stevia drops. Now, um, you don't want them to sit in this alcohol for more than 36 hours. It'll start to get bitter. Um, I'm going to actually strain these into this little um, strainer that, and I have a coffee filter in here just to catch any little bits and bobs that come out of here. And of course, just my regular pan. And no, this is not Teflon. I get a lot of comments about that. This is the Ninja cookware. It's not Teflon. <laughs> A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't be using that. It's not. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> sorry, like I said, it's very early in the morning, but I needed to get this done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually strain this into here, and then I'm going to put it on the stove at simmer, and I'm going to sit there with it constantly while it's um, simmering. I don't want it to boil because if it boils, it's going to get bitter, and that's going to actually simmer off the majority of the alcohol from this. Now, I think it's only... <clears throat> it's going to be somewhere around 40 or, or more percent that it's going to burn off of on this. And I know for some people that's not going to be acceptable. Uh, if you buy the sweet leaf drops, I believe that there's no alcohol in it. I think that they're made with water, but there's natural flavors in them and I can't control what's in the natural flavors. So I still prefer to use my own stevia. I haven't, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't been having any issues with it. It hasn't been affecting any of my symptoms or sy uh, systems. I haven't had any issues with weight loss or anything like that, but mind you, I don't use a ton of it. I only use a couple drops when I'm in the mood for a sweetened up cup of coffee or if I'm adding a sweetener to something. So again, this isn't something that I'm, you know, pouring into my, you know, my <coughs> anything. 
And again, I'm sorry, it's early morning. I've got the, you know, the morning phlegmy throat, all that good stuff. And hopefully you can see this. Uh, let me just check real quick to make sure that you're able to see this or I'll move the camera. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna pour this in here and it is green. I will admit that it is not very pretty. Again, that's kind of the trade-off and uh, it's okay though. And so, the, and I'm gonna actually put all these leaves in here too. This is kind of a slow process and you just have to kind of just be patient. So what I'll do is as this uh, strains through here, I will eventually pick it up like a tea bag and squeeze all of the excess liquid and stuff out of it. It just, you just, you don't want any, any uh, leaf pieces or anything in your extract. You, you don't want that at all. <clears throat> Can't hear when the boys is up. And while this is straining, I got these off of Amazon. These are the four ounce amber bottles, and they have just the little droppers in them. Um, I wash them and reuse them. You can get smaller ones, and I do have smaller ones, but for me, it's easier to just put them in these bottles. Um, I actually gave the batch that I made away. It's fine, Jackson. You, are you coming in the kitchen? Yeah, you're fine. Sorry, little ones. Well, he's not little, he's a teenage boy. And then they come with this little funnel, like right here, to help pour into the bottle easier. This is taking a long time. Right here, one of the boys. The oldest one is up. Working on his chores already. They're out of school for still a couple of days yet, but <clears throat> I still make them get up early. Not every day of the break, but um, you know, they have things that they need to do. So I have them getting up. Uh, early this week and carrying on as if it was a regular day. So I hope that you can see this and what I'm going to do is actually kind of squish this out like a little, like a little tea bag. see it. I'm just kind of like pushing this, squeezing it. Yes, my hands are clean. <laughs> Minus my band-aid right there, which I gotta make sure I don't get into it. Which is why I'm holding my finger up. I don't want my band-aid in, in the tincture. All right, do your kids do this? Do you have 50 towels lined up? Honestly, I had to tell them to put get a new towel when they were drying the dishes. They would just use one of those. And so now they all get lined up over there. But so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna put this on a uh, simmer burner, which means I gotta turn this all the way down till I get just this little simmer guy right here. And I'll actually bring the camera over so you can see. So while we're waiting for this to simmer, ignore my switch. This is the newest book that I'm reading. Um, I don't always read carnivore books, but this is the one that I'm doing right now. 
and I'll just sit here and stir it. I don't know if you guys use these, um, this Tovalo brand. I stink and love them. They're like the best. I've never had any issues with, it's all one, <clears throat> not sponsored at all, just love them. And so I'm just gonna heat this very gently on this simmer and just get it to simmer. We're not gonna boil it. Um, just want it to just warm off the, it'll sweeten the stevia mixture for starters and then just to kind of warm off the um, uh, alcohol, sorry. It's morning. I've actually been up since very early, but still. Anybody else uh, notice that they don't sleep as much on the carnivore diet? I used to not sleep before because I had insomnia issues all the time, but now I feel completely rested when I get up in the morning and I only sleep a couple hours coffee, Nespresso, the uh, Nespresso, and then I took some heavy cream with a little bit of sugar-free syrup this morning. I wanted a treat, and I, what do you call that with one of those, what are they called, one of these things? When I used to, I tried mud water and hated it, but, um, and I foamed it up and then put it on top. It's ugly, but it tastes delicious. This is the, the latest in the books that I've been reading. I just started it, I'm only on chapter two. I just finished reading uh, Dr. Baker's like story. I should, I don't know if I should do another book review. I've been, I have so many books that I've read, but um, I did a book review and I, I don't know if I really got a great turnout for that, if people were really interested in it or not. So these are the little bottles. If you're interested in just getting the little small um, two ounce bottles, I also got these off of Amazon. In comparison, I just like the bigger bottles. I will say this though, if you guys are gonna order bottles off of Amazon, if you're interested in doing with this, check the reviews. Um, I'll put the ones that I use that came well um, in my um, store, in my Amazon store, my links. I actually have a store now, and then I also have affiliate links, and um, I'll put them in there because I have some of these, like I'll show you. I got this one, and you can, they look the same, right? And these are the lids that came with it, but the lids don't fit. You can't get them on no matter what you do because the, the tops are too big. And um, I was supposed to return them and then never did. I was supposed to drop them off at a return place and I didn't. So I have these basically worthless bottles and these caps, which I think will actually work on my small bottles. So all is not lost. I just don't have any tops for these. And now see how it's simmering here. I don't want it to go too much more than this. So I don't want it to boil. I only want it to simmer. So. I'm even lowering the heat even just a little bit more. Um, I just want it to just simmer up the, off that, that alcohol. The thing about it is, is if you boiled it, it would get bitter and you just, you don't want that. And I don't know if you can see, but I mean, my stove has all these different burners, but it is a very tiny, tiny simmer burner. This one I think is also a simmer burner, but. I, I don't know about you guys, but do y'all do the same thing that I do when you use the same burner all the time? This is like my burner of choice right here. It's the one that I always use. When I moved in here, the stove that was in here wasn't working. Half of the burners were, they were bad and the stove was old and it took me forever to save up for this beauty, but I love her. It's just amazing how having a nice stove makes everything, an oven makes everything so much easier. I had to save for a while to get this stove. And it wasn't even, like, it's not even the most expensive stove you can get. There's really fancy ones. This is just the one that did all the things that I wanted in a price range that I could save up for, so. I know a lot of people don't have something like this, and this, I used to do this on my glass top stove in Texas, and I did it on my janky old beat up nasty stove that was in this house uh, before I bought this one. The cats are all out here. You're gonna hear them playing. Did you get your toy? 
So I have all of these different sweet leaf ones. I think I've showed these before, these stevia drops, and they come in different flavors. Um, but the thing about them is, is they have purified water, toffee flavoring, and then the natural flavors. And so I don't know what those natural flavors are, and I really don't know what the toffee flavor per se is. So while I love all of these different flavors, and I do have a lot of them, I still think that this is probably a healthier version. I adjusted that camera so you weren't necessarily looking at my uh, silly pants and uh, my dirty cupboards and my bread box that I use. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see this, but I have a bread box that I use for, like my son is has epilepsy, so he, um, my son has to take pills every day, so, and then all of their allergy medicines and stuff like that, I use my bread box, because I don't eat bread anymore, <laughs> for a medication dispensary. And I don't know if you can see just the little simmer bubbles there, again. So I'm going to actually simmer this for about 20 minutes only. Uh, you, do, you do not want it to come to a boil. It will get bitter. All right, so my stevia liquid has cooled enough where it's not super, super hot. Uh, probably 10 minutes or so. Uh, this little funnel right here is how I'm going to put this in here. But I'm gonna tell you what, I make a flaming mess out of everything that I try to pour from these pans. So I'm gonna actually get a measuring cup. So this will actually let you see what it looks like too because it's not clear. It's definitely green. Uh, again, it doesn't bother me. I actually much prefer this, I much prefer the stevia this way. And the reason why is because first off, I love to grow things. I'm, like I told you, I said previously, I love, I had a big garden. It was one of my most favorite things to do. I loved spending time out there. It just, it was so relaxing for me. And I knew what went into all of my fruits, vegetables, and my herbs. I knew what fertilizers were being used, what pesticides, everything. So for me, I was able to control that, and I really liked that. So <clears throat> unfortunately, I, well, I really don't eat fruits and vegetables anymore. I do sometimes still use herbs, but because I haven't really figured out what herbs are causing problems for me, I don't do them as often. You see, even with this, I make a mess. I didn't fill it too full. Nope, yay! So there's one. I may end up having to use, the last time I made this, I got in two bottles out. Uh, one of them was a little short. Um, the time I did before that, I used the small bottles. You have to use one of the small bottles too. And that's okay. Again, all of these are clean because I reuse most of these. I do other tinctures and stuff too. It's not just this. Um, I used to do a whole lot of uh, that type of stuff. Fire cider was a really big thing. Um, I just uh, tried to use as much out of my garden as I could. We'll do a little taste test too. Now, I should mention that since we cooked off most of the alcohol on this tincture or extract, whatever you want to call it, um, it's going to have to be kept in the refrigerator. If I just made it with the vodka and let it sit out, you know, on the counter, the alcohol would definitely. Um, preserve it, but because I cooked most of the alcohol off, it's not gonna do that. So you're gonna have to keep it for several, you can keep it for several months in your refrigerator. And this one is almost full. So I got two full 
four ounce bottles and a nearly full two ounce bottle. And where's my coffee? There's not a lot left in it, but we'll go ahead and try it out. But don't judge my soldier here. We'll go ahead and try it out and see how it is. Smells like stevia. I do about two drops in it. That's probably gonna be too much for this little bit of coffee that I have left here, but. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Mm. It tastes great. So there you go. Again, like I said, I'm very excited to be able to make my own stevia drops. Like I said, I, I grow this in my garden. Um, I dehydrate it. One day it's on. One day I'm going to get a uh, freeze dryer. But I dehydrate it and then I vacuum seal the stevia or the other herbs into whatever I'm doing. Um, there's a cabinet behind you that's usually full of jars of different herbs and stuff like that. But, uh, currently it's Christmas gingerbread stuff. But anyhow, um, I know what goes into this. I know what, like I said, what kind of pesticides or lack of um, are being used. I know the fertilizer. I know everything about the plant and how it grew and how it lived. And for me, that makes it very um, desirable. I also cooked off most of the alcohol, so it does not have a lot of it. Um, and again, because I said that, you do have to keep these in the refrigerator. But anyways, if you're interested in stuff like this, um, I do a whole lot of this type of stuff, but this still works very well for me in my carnivore diet. And um, I just, I hopefully this helped you out if you're interested in doing stuff like this. Um, I do know that you can buy stevia already like um, dehydrated I looked it up real quick uh, to see you can buy it online again I'm not saying that is or is not okay the only thing about that is I know that you can't control what went into the stevia how it grew any of that kind of stuff but if you can find a person that is actually selling it that you can you know guarantee that and you don't have the space to grow it yourself you could still do this you just wouldn't be controlling this portion of it. But if that's something that interests you, hopefully this video helps you. I really appreciate you uh, tuning in. Uh, if you are new here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing, liking, comment, and sharing. For all of my current subscribers, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And until the next time, eat your meat.